Hey guys, so I got a little message about how to conduct yourself as a Christian. And uh, it's, you know, not to condemn anybody else. It's just, you know, me admitting some things and kind of the answer I've gotten for that, which I'm extremely thankful for. Maybe it helps you if you're struggling with some things that you know are not Christian conduct. Um, for me, I've been getting aggravated and annoyed. And just at work, I've been cursing a lot this week. Which is not like me now. It was like me before I was saved, but it, 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 that just isn't me now. So, my biggest issue with that is, I, I, why am I doing it? You know, I'm not. I'm not going to impress God. I'm not going to impress humans, right? And you, you, people start cursing. You just sound like an idiot. You don't sound educated with it. Every other word out of your mouth is the F word, um, which I've been guilty of this week. Horribly guilty. And my my first problem is I'm not praying enough, plain and simple. I'm just not praying enough. But two, I, I, I think I figured out some other issues here. Um, and, you know, this is part of the answer that was given to me, revealed by the Word, the Word of God, right? So I've been reacting on feeling, right? My way, just something annoying me or something, they just pop off. And my cursing's just been my mouth outrunning my mind. So both times I'm not thinking about something. Well, the Bible teaches us to use wisdom and discernment and stuff like that. Well, I didn't use any of that. Okay, so then I acted like a wicked, evil human. I didn't act like, you know, a follower of Christ. So... What do we need to do to conduct ourselves like Christians? Well, we need to dive into the Word of Christ. We need to get in the Bible. We need to find answers there, right? So we can't react on feeling. We need to react on Scripture. And what Scripture tells us will build us. And, you know, through that process of sanctification, it'll work through the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I hate using the word work because people, oh, see, you believe... Uh, Salvation through works. Well, no, that's not what I believe uh, because it's not scriptural at all. But anyway, the, the work is being done as a result of salvation, not a requirement of salvation. We'll just leave it there. This isn't the video for that. There will be a, probably another one in the future. Um, but anyway, a little rabbit trail there. I find myself just conforming to this world. Is what's happening. That goes right into the piece of scripture that helped me. I, I got it yesterday, but it really helped me today to uh, just kind of remind me the love and grace and just how amazing the Lord is. So, in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, is the answer of how to conduct yourself, which is something to keep, keep in mind, you know. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So right there. Don't be conformed by this world. Don't conform to it. Um, stand bold. Stand bold in Christ, remember, and you'll get a renewing of the mind, right? The wisdom. Um, he'll teach you everything you need to know. All you got to do is read his word. And I'm a very firm believer that if you want God to talk to you, you need to read your Bible. If you want to hear God talk to you, read your Bible out loud. So, you know, we spend too much time in this world looking down but we ain't looking down at the right thing we're all into our phones and i'm very guilty about this i could be reading more scripture some apologetics books that i got uh, i'm reading one now with the best name ever so i don't have enough faith to be an atheist by dr frank turk and uh norman geisler yeah i think that's how you say his last name um uh, amazing book i could learn so much from it but i'm too busy watching netflix and hulu and youtube on my phone so I could be diving into scripture and understanding it, breaking it down more, but no, nope. there's something more important. I got to watch a flash. So that's just a little piece there. Uh, 
Hopefully I didn't bore you to death. And I just ask that everybody pray for me and my horrible attitude and my horrible language. And I'll be doing anything you guys need. Let me know. I appreciate it, guys. God bless. Love you.